Okay, YouTube, I'm back, and basically I'm about to do a rant on dermatologists and my experience with the dermatologist. But first, I want to do the jewelry of the day and shirt of the day. But in this video, it'll be accessories because I don't have on a lot of jewelry because I'm just chilling at home. So, I have on this yellow bandana, which was featured in, I think, my favorites haul. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's in my favorites. And some dainty little heart-shaped studs. They're like gold-based, and they have silver rhinestones in them. And I got these as a Christmas present. Oh, and the bandana came from, I think, Walmart, maybe? Walmart or Hobby Lobby, something like that. And I just have on a simple spaghetti t spaghetti strap tank top, which is white. It has a V-neck lining. Very simple because I'm just at home, chilling, like I said. And about to make some videos for you guys. So, this video is about the dermatologist. I promised you guys this video, so I'm about to do it. So, I've been going to the dermatologist for about a year, maybe a little over a year. And my face has not cleared up. Like, I was one of the kids that didn't have acne when I first became a teenager. It just got progressively worse as I aged. Because when I was like 12 and 13, I have a picture that I keep looking at because that is the picture I took before I first like started getting acne. And like ninth grade, I didn't have acne. I wore makeup and things like that just because I wanted to. I didn't have to or to hide anything. It was just that I wanted to. And ninth grade, I really didn't have, like I get a pimple here and there, but not like bad acne and I, I saw all these other kids with acne and I was like why don't I have acne and I thought it was like a trend in some weird way that everyone was supposed to get acne and I didn't have it and so I was like oh I wonder if I'm going to get acne so when I got acne it became bad like it wasn't like oh my gosh put a paper bag over my face bag bad but it was like bad for me and I'm sorry that you can see my shadows like you can see the shadow of my hands but I talk with my hands a lot so if you're wondering why my shadows is all the time moving that's why but basically it's just like I've been going to him for like a year like I said and he gave me solid in survey some words I can't even pronounce different all this different stuff to put on my face as a matter of three months. And he's like, you haven't been using it long enough. You haven't been using it long enough. Dude, if this is supposed to clear my face, it's supposed to clear my face. Not make it dry. The stuff that he was giving me was making my face dry, red. It will make my bumps red. It will make like little dry splotches all over my face and everything. And I'm like, it's making it worse than what it really is. Because I had dark spots. From like pimples that have the like blackheads and things like that that have just you know gone away on their own and they just left a spot and I'm like I just want that clear and I have a bunch of pictures on this wall which is like my wall of me and John Cena wall thing going on over there and on most of these pictures my face like you can see the blemishes and I have a makeup but you can see like the little spots on my face which I didn't really care it was just that when I started going to him it got worse and worse. And it was, like, unbearable. So, this summer, I think my face started, clear, it would clear up. And then throughout the day, this is during the school year, basically. Because I wouldn't be out in the sun, like, all the time anyway. But during the school year, my face would be clear in the morning. Well, not clear, clear, but, like, it wouldn't be bad or anything. And so I put the little creams and stuff that he told me to put on my face. Get to school, covered up with makeup or whatever. By the time lunch time came and I had to walk in the sun to get to lunch, the stuff would, it, you guys, it was a mess. My face would been, like, broke out and everything. It was horrible for me. Some people that have full-blown acne probably was like, oh, your face is fine. But for me, not to have acne at all and then to get it and it just got worse. And then when I got to him, it was like, oh, this stuff is going to work. And so I'm thinking he about to work miracles and it never happened. So, basically this summer my mom had found this Rapid Clear Neutrogena stuff. This was featured in my favorites also. 
And so it just looks like this. It's halfway gone. I have to get some more because I use this at night. I was using it basically in the morning time. With but when I got this new product, I'm gonna show you in a minute. I use that in the morning and this at night. And you guys, this stuff is true. It says rapid clear. It means rapid clear. Like if you have bad acne and you've been going to the dermatologist like me and it hasn't like worked or anything. If you get this, it says it has like salicylic acid acne treatment in it. If you guys can see that word, it's just like that. Whatever that is, it has that in here. And a lot of like the products that your dermatologist will prescribe to you would have this um, particular acid in it. Like they have different acids for your face in it. My survey which is a product you can find at Walmart drugstores also, which is like $11. It really didn't do anything because my face is oily and all it did was dry my pores out. Like my face would feel so ashy and dry that I would have to put lotion and lotion and grease, like grease my face with grease for it to be moisturized. So when I found this, it was like... It's one of those products that if your face is broke out, it clears it up and if you stop using it, you, you can tell if you've been using this product or you haven't because it works just that well. So I like this product. It's featured in my July favorites. And go check out that video if you haven't already. It's in there. So I just dropped it on the floor. But moving on, the next product is also by Neutrogena. That was Neutrogena and so is this. This is Oil Free Acne Wash. And I came across this because my grandmother was at Walmart and she was supposed to buy me the product that I just showed you, some more of that, but actually she got the wrong thing. I guess she didn't see what I was talking about and she thought this was it. So I've used it and it has the same little S word acid in it as well. So I've been using this in the morning and it's like a face wash. This is good if you wear makeup because... Like, you can wash your makeup off, but we all know that makeup is still on there because it builds up. And if you don't do, like, a pore cleanser, it's clogging your pores. So, when you put this on, you wet your face, of course. Then you put this on, and I let it sit on my face for about a good two or three minutes. And then I rinse it off. And it's basically like a scrub. That's what I use it for. It says scrub, but I use it as, like, leave-on scrub for a little while. Like, while you're brushing your teeth, you can leave it on and then wash it off. So, this is a good product as well. And together, they work very good because I haven't had any new breakouts. Well, I have, but they're not, like, blotches of new breakouts. Like I said, in one of my videos I'm going to upload about CoverGirl, that stuff broke me out. My acne was only, like, right here on my cheek area. And you can see... It's still like bumps there, but it's not like extremely bumpy. And the CoverGirl Clean broke my forehead and my hairline out. So this stuff has been working wonders for my face. It has taken like the big huge bumps that I used to have away. And also some products for like fading away blemishes. Like I said, the I had blackheads, the little dark spots on my face. These are two good products for that. This is Ambi. Even in clear. It says new. I guess it's because they like they redid their formula or whatever. And this is Gardier. Gardier, Gardier. However you want to say it. And it's just Skin Renew Dark Spot, Dark Spot Corrector. And it's the new product that you see on like... What is it? infomercials commercials and things like that and so my grandma picked this up for me i've been using ambi but because like my like my face had gotten full-blown acne it wasn't working at the time but once i've gone back to it it has faded away the dark spots and this says on the back it says instantly skin is all that good stuff and it says in four weeks blemishes would like disappear and all that you guys, I've seen a difference in a matter of two weeks. I don't put this on my face. I use this at nighttime because it does, like, make my face kind of oily. So, I put this on after I wash my face at night. So, if you have dry skin, it could be, like, a moisturizer for you. But for oily skin people, I would recommend using it at night. 
because your skin is already oily and throughout the day I'm pretty sure your face gets oily so you don't want to work around with that on your face also because it's like a moisturizer and I didn't want this to be a lengthy video but this is basically my rant about dermatologists and some cup like some basically some skincare over the counter things that you can use to prevent acne if you don't have like that bad bad acne like the pictures that you see on proactive videos and stuff like that on TV if you don't have that type of acne you just have like bumpy breakouts like blackhead breakouts and things like that that's not extremely bad but it's just bothering you those are some products that you can use for over the counter things that's cheap that you can find at like Walmart, drugstores, things like that that don't cost millions of dollars for going to a dermatologist that doesn't work I don't know why I've been going back to him. I actually have an appointment on the 13th. And I'm going to tell him that I found a new regimen. And they got mad at me because I told him I stopped using the stuff that he was giving me. Why would you get mad? Because if it's not working, if I see a difference in over-the-counter drugs in a matter of two weeks and the things you have given me over a month haven't worked, why should I keep using them? <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, that's it. See you guys in my next video. Like, subscribe, comment. See you later.